Hi all, welcome to our channel. Today I am going to show you this article which is made up of clay. I took speaker, an old speaker and I have removed all wires and everything. You can uh, choose your own base and uh, we need a fabric colors, a paper cutter, pen or any tool or toothpick, fevicol or fabric glue. Any talcum powder, a small piece of sponge, mold it, and few brushes. This base is already in black color. If you are doing any article with the which is of uh, different color, you add uh, black acrylic color and add few drops of fevicol. Just mix it properly and with the help of the sponge you just dab it and then after drying you just go on with the next process. Yes. Take a palette, few drops of white in it and then add two drops of brown color to it to get a light brown shade and after that mix it properly, take a piece of sponge and then dab it on the base with the dabbing technique which I'll be yeah now if you think this uh, shade is lighter you just add few drops of uh, more brown to it to get a darker like a shade yeah I am doing both the shades little bit like here and there of light color and here and there of little bit dark to get a wooden look Please dab it with a sponge, don't do with a brush to get a nice texture. After dabbing the whole box, keep it aside and let it dry. And after that, take a uh, mold it and you all know many of you might be knowing in molded we have hardener and resin so we need only half of the molded I, I am doing on the speaker so that is the reason I took only half it depends upon your article how big is the size and accordingly you miss, uh, mix the molded yes now I'll be mixing both resin and hardener Now after that we'll take uh, like mix it properly and we'll take a box it has dried completely take a sketch pen or a pencil and then draw lines like a window like a triangular shape or rectangular shape or it's up to you and don't, uh, don't draw these lines very straightly just uh, give a slight curve so that it's look it looks like a like you know old house and all so this is the window which we are doing now this is underline so after drawing this what I felt is uh, after looking this what I felt is this uh, the inner line which I have done is very small so I have done like you know I have added one more line just besides the outside line so that uh, the window may come little bit uh, more bigger yeah now we'll do that you just see accordingly and then see the size of the base of uh, on whatever you are doing and then you just do it draw and uh, yeah our molded is ready we have already mixed so just take three-fourth of the molded yes which we have already mixed from that you have to take three-fourth and make an oval shape and see uh, the size if it's okay yes now this is the face of our grandma we are done Now we'll keep it aside. Even if you're gonna, we'll remember you. 
and with the rest of the mold it you just uh, do a drop shape just uh, to place the nose and uh, the remaining like bun bun of the grandma then uh, for the bun you just uh, take paper cutter and you give strokes from outside to inside see how i'm doing i'm giving strokes from out to in yes to get a hairy type of texture right now this is done now even yeah we'll uh, give strokes like the hair with the paper cutter or you can use toothpick or pencil or pen any sharp tool to give a hairy texture and for this also i have done the same i have used the same technique like giving the strokes from outside to inside like this there's not much to do yeah done now even there if you feel that the lines are too like you know too far far you can give uh, lines just beside each other it's up to you then apply fabric glue or fevicol near the nose part and then stick the drop shape which we have already done and next uh, is take a small molded piece like uh, make it a oval shape and before that uh, just make holes with the pen like an eye yes now oval shape and with the paper cutter just give like you know one stroke in the middle so that we can stick like a lips yes now easy done and the here we'll apply glue or fabric glue or fevicol and then just make an uh, round shape or oval shape and then just stick as an ear now apply fevicol on the base and then just stick it out just uh, see that our face uh, when you are sticking the face it should be just uh, outside little bit outside the window yes the black part then uh, with the rest of the molded we will do hand okay only one uh, palm we will do then for that make again a uh, oval shape and with the help of the paper cutter see i have done just look here with the help of the paper cutter give strokes 1 2 3 yeah three fingers have done now four yes four fingers we have already done and uh, just cut it from the index finger and the thumb see our five fingers are ready yes now stick it like this near the edge and now while sticking just press it slightly toward the edge so that it looks like as if uh, grandma is uh, like you know putting a hand outside of the window yes yeah now it's done now after this let it dry i'm telling you once again the mold it has to dry and take black acrylic color and after drying after that like you know mold it has to dry then only go with this process take black acrylic color and uh, fill this area with the black and even for grandma head hair and hand you just uh, give a uh, dabbing technique you just use the dabbing technique so that we have given textures of hair and lips and all so that the black uh, color will go inside those lines right so just do it accordingly it's been way too long and after coloring with black make sure that this black color has to dry yeah let me finish this and i'll tell you the next process yeah make sure that this acrylic color has to dry then after this take a drop of white color in a palette 
take a sponge and then just dab it don't do this technique with the brush i'm telling you once again don't do this technique with the brush you have to use only sponge yes now done now after that we'll take light blue color or if you don't have any light blue color just take ultramarine blue and add a few drops of white in it and then just go on with that yeah fill this uh, light blue color to the border of that window i'm using triple zero brush over here After finishing this blue color what we have to do is just add few drops of white to the same color and uh, to get a lighter shade compare which we have already done like you know this uh, border of the window this is lighter shade than which we have already done yes then this side you just add few more drops of blue to it to get a darker shade one side is lighter shade and one side we have to do darker shade to get a nice look of uh, window you just do it neatly with the triple zero brush or a zero brush and then after this let it dry and you just give a black outline as i am showing now yeah our article is done if you are seeing this channel for the first time please like share and subscribe and do comment and uh yeah bye bye